Welcome back. We just enjoy us this night. The Good morning, Niger show. I mean, we just finished Football Republic now with Buchi. Laugh not grimy here. Um, I'm not a sports person, but as I just even hear the reports when they dish out, I just they laugh. I said, I saw sports be. Let's go begin switch. They the, the watch sports. Chukwu did they hear with me? Chukwu that is You know, say sports na action to move your body. I make lamba, lamba, and lamba. I make just lamba. They plenty and the best person to give you lamba na the person where they call laba. Mm -hmm. uh, so if Buchi they drop, I mean they sweet. Now talking about how body go they move. Mm -hmm. What's it with the chop self? Mm -hmm. They very very important. Clearly, of course, you just they so Gary constant. They go and understand and they talk for football. So you know if you they inform, maybe mm -hmm. that's what they take to camp. So now, so we just uh, introduce our next guest. Her name is um, Nitiyal Holo. The waiter, you they call dietitian. So tell us what our body go need after this pandemic don't end. You know, so as it be now, now person see now in the future. But the thing say, this is what we want to do now for English, we go do it. Because Nitiyal, so they hear the pigeons, so they take a uh, mm -hmm. blow up. But she be dietitian. And she did live with us now to explain certain things um, for us. Good morning, Nitiyal. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right. This is quite an interesting topic, talking about, you know, what the body needs after a lockdown. I mean, are we going to be eating any different um, after um, a pandemic? Just talk us through this. Okay. So there are many things that you should consider um, to incorporate in your diet after the lockdown. So, you know, for so many days, we have been at home in a protected environment. So when you're going out, you can make sure that your immunity is really high because we are still fighting the virus. The virus is still around us. So you need to make sure that your vitamin C intake is about 1,000 milligrams. Now this you can get from the local oranges. Um, you can get it from cocoa. You can get it from watermelon. Feel like you are not eating enough fruits. Make sure that you take a vitamin C supplement. That's number one. Number two, keep your body hydrated. Because as soon as your body gets dehydrated, it starts attracting infections. And that is not something that we want right now. So at least even if you're at work, make sure that you take your bottle with you and try to complete at least two liters of water. Because a hydrated is a healthy body. So, you know, when you're at work, try to snack healthy. Please don't... Uh, I request everyone to start from home. Even if it's something small like a sandwich, like a chicken sandwich. Um, try to look for food from home as compared to ordering food from outside. Um, I know we are gradually getting becoming, uh, to getting back to our normal. I would still suggest try to keep home cooked healthy food um, as a priority. So pack your breakfast, your lunch and your snack. Whenever you're going to work, that's very important. And if you feel like there are any habits that picked up during this lockdown, for example, walking every day, for example, playing kids in the evening, try to keep up habits. Don't give up on these habits because you are we are going back. Because it's very important to mm -hmm. take the teaching taught us forward to life. Um, so just make sure that even if you're in a work environment, you're still active. And even and for those people who are at home and you're sitting like me for a very long period of time, try to do your joint rotations. All these joint rotations are very simple. You can find them on YouTube, anywhere online. It's literally 10 minutes. And I suggest rotations every two to three hours. Because that will keep your body nice and supple. Um, like I said, I, right now, we are fighting a pandemic. And we need to understand everything is opening up because the economy is going down. It's not All right. Things are getting back. Very, very, so very important point there. That's still a priority. Very important and point there. Nitiel has just uh, made. Chukudi, okay. what, what's your take on what she said so far? Um, interesting one. Okay. No, okay, interesting one. Um, I would like to ask. The lockdown has made us readjust our lives. Um, people spend more time indoors rather than the regular routine. And certain people say that you have to do things consistently so that it becomes a habit 21 days. How do people begin to readjust their lives so that moving away from the pandemic, they will be able to, you know, get their bodies in a state where from sitting down for long hours, they will begin to prepare for, you know, life post-pandemic. Um, 
Is there like a certain routine that you would advise? Um, I think like you rightly said, routine is something that's very important um, to be consistent. And I would suggest that, you know, um, just stick to what you have been, been, been doing during the lockdown, but just modify it in a way that now you prepare your meals in advance as compared to running to the kitchen before lunch or running to the kitchen before dinner. Uh, make sure that you have a healthy breakfast. I suggest even if you're going to work, you can have fruits for breakfast. It's a very healthy option, very light on the stomach, and it really helps to clear your stools. So anyone who's feeling constipated, very good to have the amount of foods for breakfast. Um, if you're taking food from home, make sure you're, you're, you're doing some wraps, healthy wraps, like a chicken wrap, a fish wrap, um, or a suya wrap. Um, take it with you, add some vegetables. All the vegetables that you use, make sure you wash them really well, all the vegetables. And, uh, and try to make sure that even if you're at work, you're keeping yourself active by walking back and forth. And we are still very scared to move around in our offices. And guests are limited. Not many people are visiting us in offices anymore. But try to move. You know, there are many desk sizes that you can do. So try doing that. And um, just gradually slip into, the new, um, into this new lifestyle of going to work for maybe three days a week. Um, try not to do anything too extreme. There are many people who are for very low calorie diets because now that the lockdown has opened up and they want to now face the world. Please don't do anything like that because anything extreme to reduce your immunity. And that is the last thing that you want to do right now. So make sure you're having balanced meals throughout the day, drink a lot of water and keeping yourself active. 30 minutes of any activity throughout the day is very good. You don't need to really the gym. We understand gyms are closed. Most of the gyms are closed now. So just walk or play with your kids if you can. Or in the morning, you and your wife can go down for a stroll. Anything that works for you. But make sure that you are keeping the balance right. That's okay. Well, important. Nitya, let, let me come in here. Um, so just listening to you, I was going to say, um, of course, most of our foods here in Nigeria are more like, you know, carbohydrate-based foods to begin with, even though you've talked about the fact that there's certain things we need to consume. And it's interesting that, you, that the things you mentioned are really easy to come by. I mean, oranges, watermelons for fruits, which is where you get our vitamin Cs from. Now, as um, schools are set to reopen, the debate is on, on whether you know, children should be allowed back to school. What would you suggest should be in the lunchbox of a child uh, or the bag of a child who's going to school um, to ensure that the child's you know, immune system is also you know, at par and um, ensure that the babies do not come back home with something worse? So what do you think should be in that pack? I think it should be a very complete balanced meal. It should have all the food groups. So that would be um, minerals and vitamins. From, so maybe one apple, one banana, one orange. Healthy carbohydrates. This could be whole wheat pasta, could be rice. Um, I know swallows will not be working in schools because they become full, but it could be either pasta or rice or noodles. Um, with that, there should be a portion of vegetables in the form of either a stew or a salad or a soup. Whatever works for your child, mix it with the noodles or make it like a nice vegetable noodles or a vegetable pasta in red sauce. Um, I, I have a book meat. If you're not adding meat, or you can give him like a nice cheese sandwich. But try to make sure that all the food, that is minerals and vitamins, fats, good fats. So this good fats could be in the form of butter, could be in the form of avocado. You know, you can make a nice toast, chicken toast for him. But you can put a slice of cheese, you can put some avocado, some tomato, some mayo, and, and you can cut it up and give it to him with an apple on the side. And maybe two or three cucumbers if he eats it. So I think it could be a sandwich, it could be vegetable pasta, it could be pasta with meatball, it could be a, a vegetable fried rice, it could be it could be a sandwich and everything on the side. But don't overfeed your child. Um, he's slowly getting used to the new routine as well. So eat smaller portions, but you're covering all the food. And even for your kids very important for him to keep drinking water. If he doesn't like playing, try to mix some lemon and sugar into it. 
and give it to him. Mm. Try to cut some strawberries, some berries if you have anything. You know, sometimes even oranges you can mix and give it to him. So make sure that you clear up the combination so that your kid is getting complete nutrition and um, healthy when he is going out to school. Interesting. Now, uh, a lot of people see diet and exercise as a status thing. For example, we must take into consideration um, our living pattern in Nigeria. Now, certain people look at you when you say you want to diet or you want to exercise and say, oh, you are a big man or you are a big woman. And people tend to look at those who diet or exercise as people who have a lot of money that can have, afford certain food items. It's important that you share tips on how even you that consider yourself as an average earner and somebody trying to make ends meet can also still diet to boost your immune system, exercise, not necessarily going to the gym, and most importantly, staying healthy so that you can be alive. Share some helpful tips. Yeah. Yes, that's very true. And I completely believe that, you know, um, eating local, eating fresh is very important. Eating expensive foods, it's not always necessary. And most of the time, it will actually work against you because all these expensive foods that you want to eat are actually coming from miles away. So they are losing most of the nutrients while getting it here in Nigeria. So we are blessed to have many kinds of fruits and vegetables that you can actually consume. To start with, like I said, orange, cocoa, watermelon, whatever is in sea, try to consume that. Not something that is there in the month of Jan, try not to consume it now. It will be there, it will be overpriced, but you don't need it. Whatever is in seeds, you eat that. The second thing would be, even in the even in the form of swallows, even in, in rice, you can always, I've seen that, you know, as the, the portions are a bit, especially of the rice or of um, the <coughs> of swallow, to try to reduce the portion of the carbohydrates and increase the amount of vegetables diet. Now this does not be um, imported vegetables, it could be all kinds of green things. It could be peppers, it could be potatoes, it could be cabbage, it could be all vegetables that we get you. It could be pumpkins as yam. We have a lot of so you just need to mix up. And just make sure but you mix it up right. Having your rice and your or rice and vegetables. Your rice should be amount of vegetables. We always say your carbohydrate should be as much as your food. Nothing more than that. Because your stomach size, when you get both the palms together, it's the size of the stomach. So it will really not help big portions of swallow because you're putting yourself up completely and the body is not able to eat. So eat according to your activity levels and according to your nutrition. Right. If you are someone who is worker you need as compared to someone who's a soft okay. so eat according to your eat according to seeds are very important and they work for everybody okay well, thank you so much, no. Nitiel. I guess that's the much we can actually take um, on this um, segment. It's really important. I like the last point you made there. I mean, the measurement um, with the hand. Ensure that your carbohydrate, you know, is that little. And, of course, match it up with the right um, vegetable. And also a very key point, they're talking about budget. You know, it goes back to the question Chukudi asked earlier on to say, you know, you don't have to be a big man or rich. It's not a bougie thing for you to um, diet. And that's why she said eat in season. Eat according to season. Of course, fruits and vegetables are cheaper when they're in season. And, of course, that can actually help you complement your diet. Thank you very much, um, Nitya Holo. She is um, a dietitian. It's really been very interesting talking to you and also, you know, learning how to stay alive um, during the pandemic and post-pandemic as well. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. But you could be a very interesting matter, and I should talk there. But uh, what thing also make me worry, Small BC, I should just set that hand for where swallow day. As I look the measurements of that swallow, you know, do me. Mm. You know, say, again, my hand's small. Mm. And you say, it goes, see, depend, because you get some uncle, they be say, the hand big, where, where. But I'm say, either use that hand, measure the size of the swallow. It go plenty. Uh, now, what if she don't talk, say, mm. you go balance some with something where you say, the body go feed, digest, quick, mm. quick. So if the swallow, they like this, make fruit, make fruit, they like this. It's all right. Mm. Nobody say, 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 swallow, go like this, vegetable, they like this. Uh, it must pass, I think. It must pass. So they look at that size, you know, do me, me <laughs> self, know myself. We're well, really very interesting talk. Now we get with um, Nitya for this.